All I can talk about is with psychotherapy. All right. And in general, the male psychotherapist is seen as a, one of the ultimate authority figures in our society. Mm -hmm. They tell you, they help you find out what's wrong, they help you get around it, they help you order your lives. And men, if they've got a problem, can go to see a male psychotherapist and they can generally let, lay out their problems, not so much as they have. I mean, because there are dominance games within the male gender and to give up part of your power to so another man, to let him right, know. Let, let me cut through that for just a second, right? As a male, did you have dominant genes that made you dominant and egomaniacal? Uh, no, because only my body was male. All right, your brain was not. Correct. All right. How many, how many guys, let me, let me see a camera on the audience. How many of you gentlemen out there would indeed have a problem talking openly to a woman, all right? Not necessarily Kimberly, but to, to any woman. Okay, do you have a difficulty talking to women? How many? Therapy situation. How many in therapy, if you had to go to therapy, <clears throat> would rather have a man than a woman? Let me see a show of hands. Now, th how many would rather have a woman than a man? I see more hands from men out there. More hands from men. If they would be totally honest, if they would give their innermost feelings, though, would they really? Have they are saying they'd be totally honest. You'd give your innermost feelings, am I correct? Yeah. Huh? We're going to talk to the audience next, all right? Let's see what our audience has to say. Stand by. As usual, on any of these shows, you get the best stories out of our guests, and uh, those guests are in the audience. They come here every night for the show. That is, this is the most intelligent crew in America. Let's start with this young lady. 